Manly innkeeper, isn't it? I mean, if it weren't for him, Mary and Joseph would be out keeping on the street, wouldn't they? David, she was having a baby. Don't think there was much keeping going on. Yeah, fair point. Go on then, let's say this one line. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but there's no room. And then I just closed the door. That was great, wasn't it? See, you're that innkeeper. Listen, mate, just have a word with him and tell him to beef it up a bit. It's going to be rubbish. Have you heard this? Your son is encouraging your grandson to complain about his lives in the school in the city. Well, why do you think he always ended up the back end of the donkey? Out of sight, out of trouble, they reckon. Mm. Yeah, well, as much as we all like to reminisce, Max, go and get your school bag. Yeah, I'll take him if you like. I've just heard from Sarah and she said... Uh... me, why aren't you at school? Oh, my mum said I can have the day off, so I'll know when she gets back. Is there any toast? No, and you can get back to Nick's right now and get that school uniform on. Seriously, Gran, the school's closing early anyway, because it's an inset day, isn't it? And I told you, mum said. Why can she have a day off? Because my mummy's coming home short, so that's why. Say bye-bye, Max. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. She's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Turkish bath. Yeah, I wish. Just go and put some on, will you? Ah, yeah. pours a brew, will you? And what did your last servant die of? Oh, I don't want to drop this, do I? You know, now you've decided you're definitely staying round here, you might want to think about getting a place of your own. Mm. Streetcar's flat's empty. I know, but Steve said I wouldn't like it. Said it's a bit of a pit. No, it's not a pit. Ah, uh, from a horse's mouth. Yeah, well, he only said that because... Listen, he... I'd love to chat. You are. Yeah, no, I am. 